Prince Harry thinks his brother Prince William is trapped in the royal family and doesn't know it, as royal expert has claimed. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said the Duke of Sussex, 36, grew up knowing he would have no defined role within the family which led to him resenting not being taken seriously, despite all his military and charity work. He added that the royal's marriage to Meghan Markle undoubtedly changed him but his rivalry with his brother long outdates his relationship with his wife. Harry, who now lives in a $14 million mansion in Montecito with his wife and their children Archie and Lilibet, recently announced he has been secretly working on a bombshell book for nearly a year. Speaking to Entertainment Daily, Richard said, Many think that the fact that William grew up knowing he would one day be king and Harry had no defined role, led to rivalry between brothers who were considered inseparable. Harry's reputation was as the royal wild child for years, William's image was far more serious however he behaved. Some say Harry resented not being taken seriously, despite his military service and charitable work. Harry now believes he was trapped as a member of the royal family and that William currently is but doesn't know it. The rift between them, long reported and first confirmed in the ITV documentary about their South Africa trip, is public and serious. It was his marriage to Meghan which unquestionably changed him. He added that the Fab Four idea, that saw Harry and Meghan work with Prince William and Kate Middleton was a disaster. The brothers have been separated by a rift that began in March 2019 when William reportedly threw Harry and Meghan out of Kensington Palace over the alleged bullying of staff, with the Sussexes breaking up their joint foundation and setting up a new office at Buckingham Palace. The claims emerged in Robert Lacey's book Battle of Brothers, published before Harry and Meghan went on Oprah to accuse the royal family of racism and claim they were abandoned when the Duchess of Sussex was suicidal and six months pregnant. Harry first publicly said his brother and father were trapped by the institution of monarchy, and that feels really let down by his father Charles. In a series of astonishing claims, Harry revealed the Prince of Wales cut off contact with him in the wake of his decision to step away from the firm. He told how, during his time in Canada, his father refused to answer his calls as tensions within the family rose and their relationship soured. The royal brothers recently reunited for the unveiling of a statue of their late mother Princess Diana to mark what would have been her 60th birthday. The pair, who previously were last seen publicly together at their grandfather Prince Philip's funeral in April, may have healed their rift with their aunt Sarah Ferguson, 61, recently telling Australian Women's Weekly the statue brought unity and togetherness to the family. In July, William and Harry reunited with their aunts Lady Sarah McCorkadale, 66, Lady Jane Fellows, 64, and their uncle Charles, Earl Spencer, 57, for an intimate ceremony at Kensington Palace for the highly anticipated statue unveiling. William and Harry put aside their personal differences and stood shoulder, too, shoulder to unveil the bronze statue of their mother in the sunken garden, which became a place of solace for Diana before her death in 1997. The garden was replanted with 4,000 of Diana's favorite flowers in honor of the event. At the time, sources close to Earl Spencer have said that there is a hope that the celebration of their mother's life and legacy will bring Harry and William together again after months of discord over the Sussexes' decision to quit the royal family and subsequent interviews in which they publicly criticized the royal family. It comes as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed they made a donation to Anon profit organization which is distributing hot meals to hospitals and shelters across Haiti following the devastating earthquake. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, 40, who are currently living in their 11 million pound mansion in California, donated to the World Central Kitchen WCK, via their Archul Foundation. The organization, run by their friend, Spanish chef Jose Andre, works globally using food to empower communities and strengthen economies by providing hot meals to people in need around the world. Jose is a personal friend of the Sussexes, as well as appearing on the first episode of the couple's podcast, alongside other prolific figures like Sir Elton John, the chef took part in Meghan Markle's recent birthday campaign. Called 40 by 40, the initiative called on 40 of her friends to give 40 minutes of their time to help mentor women who lost their jobs due to COVID. News of the latest donation follows a recent statement Prince Harry and Meghan posted on their website, describing the world as fragile right now due to the earthquake in Haiti as well as other major events, including the current situation in Afghanistan. Titled A Message from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the statement said about Haiti, the world is exceptionally fragile right now, as we all watch the growing humanitarian disaster in Haiti, and the threat of it worsening after last weekend's earthquake, we are left heartbroken. The pair came in for criticism on social media after publishing it, as they called on people to make donations to charitable organizations, while failing to disclose how much they themselves would give. The lengthy statement was also criticized by royal expert Angela Levin, best known as Prince Harry's biographer, 
who called it phony. She told Female, I think Harry and Meghan's grandiose, comfy and caring comments about the situation in Afghanistan, the disaster in Haiti and new Covid variants is another example of them trying to set up some sort of alternate, woke royal family. Like most of their compassionate gestures there is no indication about what they themselves will do and whether any donations will be going through Archul Foundation. Their comment that they want to alleviate suffering among those we know and those we may never meet, that will prove our humanity, sounds so similar to their recent comment we must be compassionate to those we know and those we don't know that makes it sound equally phony.